WRTV's Meredith Hackler spoke with two OBGYNs and explains their concerns moving forward. Two doctors with two different viewpoints on access to abortion. Dr. Christina Francis is part of the organization called the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists. She and the organization feel that abortion is never the best choice medically for a woman unless her life is in danger. We are pro-life in all circumstances, meaning we are pro-life of the mom just as much as we are pro-life for the baby. And so we have to save who we can save. If we can save them both, then that's our duty as physicians. If we can't, then we should intervene to save who we can. According to Dr. Francis, women who have surgical abortions are more likely to have a preterm birth in future pregnancies. She also says women who have abortions oftentimes have adverse mental health outcomes. Because of these adverse effects that we see on women of elective abortion and really no health benefits, again, of elective abortion, this informs our position as, as pro-life physicians as we talk with our patients about what their best options are for their health, both in the immediate and in the long term. Abortion simply is not the best option for our patients. Dr. Katie McHugh is a pro-abortion rights OBGYN and abortion provider in Indiana. She disagrees with Dr. Francis. She says there are also negative effects on women's mental health if they have to go through with a pregnancy that they didn't want. When we talk about trauma as it relates to pregnancy, pregnancy itself and parenting can be traumatic, not only for the person who's pregnant, but also for the potential children. Both doctors also disagree on the safety of medical abortions, meaning when an abortion occurs through a medication especially as some pro-abortion rights groups are advocating for access to self-managed abortions by having pills mailed to their home. If they are not seen in person, they cannot be adequately screened for ectopic pregnancy, which occurs in one in 50 pregnancies. The problem with that is that the symptoms of a rupturing ectopic pregnancy are vaginal bleeding and abdominal pain. Those are the same symptoms that women have when they're undergoing a medication abortion. We have studies for decades uh, stating how safe this medication um, and the regimen of medications that we use for medication abortion um, really are, especially with the um, introduction of mifepristone, which is the first pill in the medication abortion. Uh, it increases the effect effectiveness and the safety by a significant amount. Working for you, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Dr. Katie McHugh says since Roe versus Wade was overturned, there have been an influx of people coming to her clinic seeking abortion access.